Imagine a shadowy network within the highest levels of the Pentagon, where covert investigations and secret programs delve into the mysteries of space. This is not a scene from a sci-fi thriller, but the reality that is gradually unfolding before our eyes. From high-altitude encounters with unexplainable objects to allegations of recovered alien technology, the truth seems stranger than fiction. The Pentagon's investigation of UFOs has been nothing short of a sci-fi drama series. There are emotions, accusations, allegations of secret cover-ups, testimonies by long-silenced witnesses, and much, much more. One might speculate that a top streaming platform is already producing a documentary on the same as we speak. The intrigue surrounding these investigations reaches new heights with every revelation, making us question what is really out there. In recent years, the public has become more aware of these extraordinary encounters, thanks in part to leaked documents and testimonies from credible witnesses. These encounters have not only captivated the imaginations of UFO enthusiasts, but have also raised serious questions about national security and the potential existence of extraterrestrial technology. As we peel back the layers of secrecy, we find ourselves entangled in a web of mystery that spans decades. The Pentagon's clandestine investigations have revealed encounters with objects that challenge our understanding of aviation and physics. These sightings, often corroborated by multiple witnesses and sophisticated tracking systems, suggests that we may be on the verge of one of the greatest discoveries in human history. So, buckle up as we delve into the shadowy world of UFOs and uncover the astonishing claims and chilling testimonies that continue to blur the line between reality and science fiction. One incident that highlights the bizarreness of some of these claims is the Tic Tac UFO incident. In 2004, Naval fighter jet pilots who had taken off from the USS Nimitz nuclear aircraft carrier not just encountered, but also recorded a strange object that has become known as the Tic Tac due to its oblong shape. Years later, the puzzling UFO encounter was revealed by the New York Times, with multiple eyewitnesses stepping forward over the years to describe what they saw. One of three infrared videos recorded in 2004 and shared by the Times in 2017 shows an odd, oblong, unidentified object, garnering it the nickname Tic Tac. One of the pilots gave the following statement. The thing that stood out to me the most was how erratic it was. It was just behaving in ways that aren't physically normal. That's what caught my eye because aircraft, whether they're manned or unmanned, still have to obey the laws of physics. And the Tic Tac bore no resemblance to any conventional aircraft. Apparently, the secretive Pentagon program commissioned a sailor to investigate the Nimitz incident. Now is where it gets even weirder. After the sailor went back home to Virginia, his family said they witnessed a wolf-like creature that walked on two hind legs looking inside their house on two separate occasions. While the most likely explanation is that the investigator's poor family imagined the whole thing or mistook some local wildlife for an otherworldly visitor, it still makes one wonder as to why such investigations were being conducted in secret by the Pentagon. How many more such investigations has it funded? Is there really something that is being hidden from us? According to another allegation, there's a chance that the U.S. government is, at this very moment, reverse engineering alien technology salvaged from UFOs. In an eyebrow-raising interview, Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett said that he thinks the U.S. government has recovered a craft at some point and possible beings, alluding to a number of high-altitude balloons that were shut down last month. While the concept of the U.S. government recovering alien tech and subsequently covering it up arguably isn't exactly a new thing, the theory, paired with other allegations, makes one wonder whether belief in UFOs and extraterrestrial technologies are becoming more mainstream than any of us have realized. In interviews, government officials speaking on condition of anonymity have said that there are those within the Pentagon who are protecting very interesting information from being released to the public. 
even as others within and outside the Defense Department are trying to bring daylight to this subject of increasing interest. What is the skull and bones type of a secret society? What do they know that they so desperately want to keep under wraps? There have been many more such incidents and mentions. One such incident occurred in 2014, when four naval aviators narrowly escaped disaster. In April 2014, just as they entered highly controlled airspace for a training exercise, their two F-A-18F fighter jets nearly collided with an unidentified flying object. To the frustration of dozens of their fellow aviators, such a near catastrophe was inevitable. This incident is sure to have given you goosebumps and it did so to the pilots too, who finally spoke up after almost a decade of the near-miss collision. Back then, there was no Pentagon report on UAPs. Despite the frequency of the encounters and the severe risk posed by the hazard, it took the Navy five years to adopt a formal UFO reporting structure. The first batch of these reports, heavily redacted and makes clear that the U.S. government faces a significant challenge. For months before and after the incident, air crews flew in exclusive use. Training areas off the U.S. East Coast had frequently observed unknown objects exhibiting highly anomalous flight characteristics. Despite the collision hazard posed by the UFOs, aviators lacked a formal mechanism to report the mysterious objects to higher authorities. In another such incident, an aviator reported that he had never seen anything like this before. In another encounter, an aviator noticed an object with flight characteristics unlike anything I had seen in my redacted years of service, implying a particularly anomalous encounter. The following is the testimony of Ryan Graves, one of the four pilots who narrowly escaped the collision in April 2014. These were no mere balloons. The unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, accelerated at speeds up to Mach 1, the speed of sound. They could hold their position, appearing motionless, despite Category 4 hurricane force winds of 120 knots. They did not have any visible means of lift, control surfaces or propulsion. In other words, nothing that resembled normal aircraft with wings, flaps or engines. And they outlasted our fighter jets, operating continuously throughout the day. I am a formally trained engineer, but the technology they demonstrated defied my understanding. If a highly trained, experienced pilot could be the shaken up about the incident, it has got to be something out of the world. Some say it's obvious we're not alone, others scorn at the very idea as if it were a ludicrous idea, and still others yet will hauntingly report their own experiences of alien probings following their casual nighttime strolls or early morning dog walks. But with everything from increasingly bizarre reports from increasingly credible sources to basic mathematical probability suggesting the likelihood of alien life, these days skepticism is harder one than not. Though there are more officially registered sightings of UFOs, there's a thorough debunking accompanying them. But throughout history, there have been a number of cases that have been harder to explain away, from the to 1853 sighting by a number of students and professors at the Tennessee College campus, to the oft-quoted Stephenville Lights case from 2008, with over 200 witnesses spotting the UFO, including three policemen who remained anonymous. To the UAPs covered in the Pentagon report, consider these compelling cases unsolved and their numbers are only rising. The body of evidence about the military's interest in UFOs has been growing since officials began leaking documents to the press starting 2020. In December 2021, the Congress approved defense spending that included the establishment of a more public-facing UFO investigation office. Nevertheless, the reporting has remained erratic and gradual because the military hasn't declassified all that much information. With the new Pentagon office, which UFO enthusiasts either love or absolutely hate, there's some hope that the public will finally get more clarity on what the government actually knows about UFOs and what kind of weird stuff is being studied.
orbit. Beyond the blue, 